Hey YouTube. Okay, this is my next update, and I did a clean. This where is it? Sunday night at the moment. About to go to bed. I did a clean in a week. Sucked out some cyanobacteria. I think I might have done it twice. And um, as you know, cyanobacteria is stubborn. It's an absolute bitch to get rid of. It grows back so quick. The bacteria multiplies ridiculously. And um, so the tank's probably running quite warm because it's been quite hot. Been away um, for a couple of nights, um, so I couldn't stay on top of the water change for it. And I need to actually pick up some more water to be able to do that change um, and suck out as much as I can. But I'm going to go down now and show you. You can see the Xenia there going crazy. They love the water. <laughs> uh, the Xenia up there really growing well also. Um, the candy canes are actually opening quite nicely. Um, I'm going to zoom in there. Focus. There we go. See, doing not too bad. Um, but then if I come down and see this bottom half of the tank, there you go. See that? That is the cyanobacteria. Uh, so you can see it all on the here. See all the air bubbles. That's what the bacteria is creating. Um, and we go along here. My zoas getting caught up in it. So all the pockets of air in the sand bed. I think I mentioned that in the last video. The anemone. I forgot to mention the anemone was up there. Has climbed down here, and he now lives down there. Um, that happened the other day, as it goes. Uh, Sebastian's been having a nice little wander tonight. Um, he keeps going to the edges and trying reaching over to the glass. <laughs> it's been quite funny. Um, and then let me come up and look at it from up here. You can see all that sign the bacteria. So I sucked it all out. And then there was a tiny bit coming back again. You couldn't really see it, but you could see little bit of air bubbles, so you knew it was forming. Um, went away, come back a couple of nights later, and then this is what's come. It's actually not. I mean, it could have been a lot worse, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it's starting to spread over the coral there and there. So tomorrow, I'll be able to suck it out and get as much cleaning done as I, I can. Um, I mean, it just spreads so quick. Um, but the good thing about it is, because it's like a layer, what you can do is, um, if I show you this, which is just some kind of airline tubing. This tubing, you know, it, it's actually quite soft. Um, it squeezes in quite easy. So what I'll do, put one bit in there, have the other bit in the bucket and then I'll literally just suck it out and then what you can do is squeeze it get to the bit you want, suck it and because it's smaller obviously with suction, the smaller the tube, the higher the suction, higher the power um, although it will restrict the water flow, it will suck that small bit of water in faster with a slightly more power so you can use that which is perfect for this because it's, remember it's, it's practically goo so it just zips up that tube in so I'll stick that in there and then I can suck a little bit, hold it, let no more water come out, get to the next bit, suck it, and all that will get sucked out really easy. You can literally go over like a hoover, like this, and it will just suck it all absolutely piss easy. And get it all out, off the glass, it just comes straight off the glass. Um, and doing that will only take down a little bit of water, because you're not bringing, taking too much water out with this tubing, because uh, the flow is just so restricted. Yet you can take everything you want to take out, detritus, and stuff like this. That's a good way of doing it to get rid of the cyanobacteria. And then um you honestly you just keep doing that. Once it comes back a little bit more, get rid of it, comes back, just stay on top of it, do regular wall change like that, and eventually we'll go. Um it's just it's just it's long. Um almost all new tanks go through this stage with it. Just as they're developing, the bacteria still growing to handle all the uh nitrates, etc. and the phosphates. Uh, it's just that's just the way it is. Um I want to get some more phosphate remover, put it in the bag. In fact, I've got a ton of rhophos in now. I put loads in. I thought, well, surely more the better. So I just stuck a load in. Um, and I want to get some Purigen maybe as well. Um, but yeah, so that was it. Uh, just to show how bad the tank gets really quickly uh, over just a few days. Um, hopefully once it's, it does go, it may take a couple of weeks, it may take a couple more water changes, who knows. But once it does go, hopefully it should stay on top of it. My last nano... Again, I had a really bad problem with it, case of it. After a couple of weeks, it finally just started to die off and go. So it's just one of those things you have to go through. Just like uh, the diatoms and stuff like this. Um, you know, you go through it, get out the other side and it's all good. But I just wanted an update there to show you how bad quick things can get. Uh, up here, it looks all good. And then down there... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll bring the next update soon. I'm still yet to buy my uh, next coral with my voucher. But they had some really nice hammers in stock, so I will be hopefully getting them. It might be a couple of weeks, so I don't even think I can get it uh, this weekend coming. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, cheers. See you for now.